Hey Master Gardeners, my name is Dylan and we're at the Virginia Tech Greenhouses today. Today we're going to be talking about the different types of seeds, how to sow them. And the, uh, the first one, if we're, we're talking about bigger seeds, if you have like corn or watermelons or cantaloupes, you're going to want to sow them in a uh, larger cell. For this stuff, you can have a larger grain soil, like a potting mix, and make sure it's, uh, it's thoroughly moistened. It's got plenty of water in it. And then when you fill up your packs, don't pack and compact the soil, but just fill it over, brush off the excess. And then when you have the larger seeds, you're gonna to wanna to sow them about two to three seeds, and these you can push down in there and cover up with a small layer of soil. Now with any seed, you want to make sure you, you check in on the, how, how deep the planet, the light requirements, what time of year, and research all of that beforehand. When you have a medium-sized seed, such as tomatoes, you want a smaller cell with a lighter or more fine germination mix in there. Because the, the seeds are smaller, you don't want a coarse, coarse soil. Again, moist it ahead of time, and then with your tomatoes, you can sow them two to three to a flat as well. With seeds that are getting a little bit smaller, you don't want to pack them down in there. Oftentimes it goes too deep and it won't end up germinating. So you want to take a light layer of vermiculite and cover it over it so that it still has soil covering it, but it's not too deep. And then when you have seeds even smaller, such as basil seeds, it's oftentimes good to go to a local garden center and buy a, a hand seed sower. For these small basil seeds, you'd want to sow them into, into a flat, such as this, with again, a fine germination mix that's been moistened. You go to use this if you're like me and you can't grab the smaller seeds. This is a great way to help uniformly tap them out so they're easier to transplant in the future. After you have everything planted, is you want to be sure to thoroughly moist. Moist your seeds in the media, that way to, to make sure the so the seeds are, are going to start germinating as soon as possible. And then be sure to label it because you'll have no idea what these things are when you come back in a couple weeks. And next, if, uh, if you have, have a tray cover such as that for your flats or your, your pods, that is the, the best thing for it. Spraying the inside of it will help keep, keep it moist inside but not too wet, like so. But if you, uh, if you don't have a tray cover such as this, you can make your own using a plastic bag and a pencil or a stick. So putting, putting the flats on the inside of the bag and then wetting the inside of the bag does the same thing. And you can recycle the bags and get to use them for something else. Then after, after moisting the inside of it, you want to tie it to, the, to your stake or your pencil and try and close it up so that the moisture stays in there. And you're going to want to after about 75% of the seeds have germinated, you have no use for the cover of the bag anymore and you can remove those and let them, let them keep on growing.